Before we get into today's video, disinterested dog wants to tell you, like and subscribe, or he'll get mad. Right, Roo? I'm sure you've seen the other videos about the Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly kit, and you know, you, you don't need to know about how the goggles come apart, and you don't need to know about how the remote is a DA transmitter. I'd prefer to talk about how your experience with the drone hopefully would go similar to mine, and so far I've been able to beat the ever-living shit out of this thing, and you can see it's kind of dirty, but it's held up to the testament of me putting two months worth of abuse into it, and it still works. All I've had to do today was replace this motor, so that was my first, like, paid repair, I guess you'd call it. The only other thing I did is I was doing a dive and hit a power line really hard and knocked the ground wire off the video transmitter or off the board here so I had to just open it up and re-solder that, that didn't take long, it was very easy to fix so uh, probably the, what's gonna be wrong if your screen is black but you're still technically getting video um, other than that uh, I was pleasantly surprised with both the performance and like the range that I was able to get. I can do a range test if anybody would like to see that. Um, the original antennas that came with the goggles, I've obviously I've stepped up from that. I've got like a Foxier lollipop and a True RC uh, Mark II patch. The good, one, uh, the decent one, I guess. Now something interesting is. You might think that this remote, you know, it's kind of cheap, it's not bad. It doesn't actually have, like, the flex, this is, these are metal gimbal, like, the, the stick itself is metal, but the housing is plastic. So, if you're, if you're worried about, like, stick flex, this actually doesn't have stick flex. I, I was very surprised that it doesn't feel, like, cheap or shitty. The spring on this one's actually quite nice, the reset time's pretty good. The other interesting thing that I had was after upgrading to a RadioMaster TX16S, I realized that with the 100 milliwatt built in 4 in 1, it wasn't getting the same range as I was getting on the original remote. So don't knock that remote, it's actually pretty good. It might be like 200 milliwatts or something, I don't know. Uh, I've never been able to really find that, find that out. But, if you're interested in picking up one of these ready-to-fly kits from Emacs, I'd highly recommend, as one of your first things, you're going to beat the hell out of this thing, and it's been able to hold up to that for me. If you watch one of my videos, even just one of my videos of how I've been flying this thing, you'll notice that I wasn't taking it easy by any, any means. As for what comes with it, I'm sure you've seen decent little charger, it takes too long, one battery, sadly, those are my Foxier lollipops, don't worry about that, um, get a, extra propellers, get your funny little antennas, and luckily you get some extra battery rubber bands and a shitty screwdriver, some extra screws, but um, other than that, I think that's about it, and that sums up the video, oh, and you get this Allen key, this Allen key doesn't work, there's there's no part of the drone in my in my experience that I've been able to figure out what the fuck you do with it. It doesn't work, as you see. If you can if you can see that, it's way too big. So I'm, I'm not sure what the heck that was meant for, unless it was for uh, you know like yeah. There's no screw in there. Cool. So yeah, I'm not sure what that was for. Sorry about that rambling but if you wanted to know if you've been on the fence about buying this and you've heard people say that oh you're you know you're gonna you're gonna run out of use for it they're asking like hundred and eighty dollars it's it's like two hundred and twenty dollars Canadian monies so in my opinion if you get all this stuff the screens pretty good the remotes pretty good Again, you get metal gimbals on here. Can't complain when it comes to that. For for if you're not sure if you're actually gonna stick with it, 
as I'm figuring, but I'm here to stick with it. I do think that it's worth giving it a chance. And if you don't turn out liking it, well, maybe you spent $400 and that's not the end of the world. But if you do end up liking it, well then you have a really nice drone that's easy to fix and really fun to use. And, you know, if you've seen before, it comes in this cute little box. But, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon or good night or whatever time it is. Quick little follow-up at the end of the video here. Uh, slow panning on the dog. The video transmitter on the, the goggles isn't very good. And, um, uh, the DVR is fucking terrible. Emacs, um, Emacs, explain. The, the DVR. Please. Please, Emacs. Hey, Ruger, look at me. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Have a good night, everybody. Or whatever fucking time it is. One more thing. Here's a few choice shots from the DVR. Woo!